Did you? Did you hear something? What, baby girl? Cammy loves her, man. Poxy. Uh, yeah? Cammy loves Poxy. That's she it. I like them white colored dolls right there. So, yeah. Yeah. When you get that's her out the light. That's, that's, that's how she's got a husky in her. Maybe a little bit shaky. Yeah. In the right light, she looks white. Give him a call anyway. Yeah. Hey Richard, this is Kyle. Hey buddy, I'm down here at Mike's. I'm ready to go back home now. Bob has time to do it today. Alright buddy, appreciate it. Even if he's at Walmart, he should have time to come and grab yeah. you. Drop some people off, give me a ride back by my place and head into me. Yeah. Take lunch break. It'll either be later today or tomorrow. Tomorrow's probably more likely. Yeah. But, uh, that, that'd be alright. I know, I know we're talking over. I hear ya. <coughs> well, thanks for stopping by. No problem. Well, you like us, still have a big bolt in. Oh, yeah. I'm we had a neighbor lady come by the other day, which just, uh, 
Baker place down the street. Yeah. She uh, stopped in the other day, got a whole bunch of chopped candy from her. She took a home big old bowl of it. Uh-huh. She took it home with her. She said, I ate all your beer of that shit, man. Hey, y'all. Right the other day, she couldn't crap. Uh, she crap. She crap now. She had problems yesterday all day long. Oh, well. <laughs> too yeah, sorry really about girl, that. That, that. That all that candy. You, you go and have that freaking shit. Grandmother used to say, bad case of can't help. Ha, 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 ha. Bad case that can't help it. Every day you want to stick close to the bathroom, man. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Make sure you have clean toilet paper on hand. Yes, indeed. One thing I always like to keep on hand. Well, everybody needs to keep plenty on hand. Yeah. Seconds to Midnight, or oh, okay. some some title like that. It's Korean War. Yeah. He gets wrapped up with. Yeah, they're doing all Robert Mitchum movies today. Seen him in a few war movies. Oh yeah. Going back. Westerns. Going back to the to the actual war, he was in the movie that was on before the story of G.I. Joe, where he plays a G.I. that before the end of the movie gets killed in Italy. Yeah, I can't think of. Him. That's one of his earliest movies, <clears throat> but over the years, yeah, he was in a lot of war movies. Those cars, those yeah. are all his cars. Oh, I know, he got shit loaded on the man. 
kind of overdoing it on vehicles, I think. Yeah, well, he obviously had a lot of money to spend. Yeah. I mean, if I had as much money as Leno, I would be buying things I liked as much as he likes cars. I'd have a missing girl on property. Huh? I'm going to buy a missing girl on property and a girl Oh, that? Yeah, he's probably got tons of land. Oh, man. Probably got a vineyard or two. Maybe make up a little shine. Make up a little shine. Make up a little uh, vodka with THC in it. Grow pot on the side. And, you know, just have everything. Well, they allow you to make your own beer at home. Why not make them moonshine? Same process, damn near. Yeah. They just want their tax money. case adds to the growing mountain of UFO data, echoing the common characteristics the general public about unexplained things in the sky. So the U.S. government set up an agency within the Air Force called Project Blue Book, and its purpose was to take reports from the public and to investigate cases. Project